Poor Emma. She's worried sick about Dorian. I gotta find a way to put her mind at ease. You more pressed about your friend or the girl? Both. Mm-hmm. Listen, we need to snag one of our phones back so we can call Dorian. I was wondering if maybe you could help. What? You... <laughs> thought vampire powers were off limits. Desperate times. All right. I'll lend you a hand, but um, I want to hear you say it. <laughs> Not a chance. Whatever, Doug. Hi there. Hello. I'm Deputy Agent Clark. I apologize for the inconvenience. I see you're from Richmond? Uh, Roanoke. I'm just checking in with everyone. The sooner we get everyone proper medical attention, the sooner you can go see that giant ball of yarn. <laughs> well, we uh, don't need any attention, but thank you. So you came in from Raleigh on a road trip with your family? Roanoke. Roanoke. Sorry. <laughs> you ever been to Kansas? Hey, who is that guy? This creepy man in Kansas when you guys are in Europe. Why were you in Kansas? Oh, wait, let me guess. It involved you insinuating yourself into a situation where only you could be the hero. As a matter of fact, yeah. Oh, I swear to God, you will do anything to get attention. Said the narcissist. Said the other narcissist. Okay, guys, can we please just stop? Okay, fine. You know what? Maybe I was jealous. Maybe I wanted what you had. A simple day with my family. I lost half of my stuff in that fire, including the only painting I made with my dad. Why would I do that to myself? So, if there's nothing else... Actually, yeah, I was hoping we could talk privately. You and your daughter, uh, Jessica, was it? I don't think we have anything more to discuss. I could think of a few things. Mystic Falls, maybe. Or perhaps your school for supernatural children. I work for an organization that keeps monsters and things that go bump in the night from public view. I thought I recognized you and Jessica. It's hope, actually. I wasn't sure if it was a coincidence, so we searched your van. We know you're a Lark Saltzman, headmaster of the Salvatore School. We know a lot about it. You have a terrific reputation. You leave the school out of this. Look, I applaud your school's mission. If you do your job right, it makes mine easier. So why are we still here? Well, I have an entire town that needs to forget what they've seen today. You know, usually it's convincing a farmer in Nebraska he didn't see a chimera, you know, or a few ice fishermen in Minnesota that it wasn't a Yeti that ate their best friend. This is an entire town. It's different. We could use the assistance of a vampire. I noticed the daylight ring on your daughter's boyfriend. Oh, he's not there. Never mind. Why not call it a freak swarm of bugs? Why erase it from memory? Because someone may recognize them for what they are. Harbingers. Of what? Seriously. I mean, this is obviously the work of a mummy. I told you. One of our drivers survived an attack by the river. He's been tracking the mummy ever since. He's still on the outskirts of town, but he's heading our direction. We're a cleanup organization. We're not equipped to go to battle with a mummy. 